Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to set up automated threat responses in Azure Sentinel. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and so this video will help you to understand and to use security playbooks in Azure Sentinel to set automated threat responses to security related issues detected by Azure Sentinel. So what actually is a security playbook? in Azure Sentinel. So a security playbook is a collection of procedures that can be run from Azure Sentinel in response to an alert. A security playbook can help automate and orchestrate the response and can be run manually or set to run automatically when specific alerts are triggered. Security playbooks in Azure Sentinel are based on Azure Logic Apps, which means that you get all the power, customizability and built-in templates of Logic Apps. Each playbook is created for the specific subscription we choose. But when you look at the playbooks page, you will see all the playbooks across any selected subscription. For example, if you are worried about malicious attackers accessing your network resources, you can set an alert that looks for malicious IP addresses accessing your network. Then we can create a playbook that will do uh, when the alert is triggered, open a ticket in service now or any other ticketing system send a message to the security operations channel in microsoft teams or send all the information in the alert to the senior network admin and security admin uh, the email message also includes two user option buttons block or ignore a particular ip from which the attacks are uh, coming or the malicious access requests are coming if the admins choose block the ip addresses is blocked in the firewall and the user is disabled in azure ad if the admin choose ignore, the alert is closed in Azure Sentinel and the incident is closed in service now. These security playbooks can be run either manually or automatically. Running them manually means that when you get an alert, you can choose to run a playbook on demand as a response to the selected alert. Running them automatically means that while authoring the correlation rule, you set it to automatically run one or more playbooks when the alert is triggered. So let us create a security playbook and to do that we'll click on Azure Sentinel. I would go to my workspace which is linked or selected for my Azure Sentinel in this subscription and in, in the configuration I would select playbooks. So there are no playbooks to, playbooks to display. I'll add a playbook by clicking on here. It will open up a new browser window with my logged in credentials right so i'm going to switch the directory i'm going to go to my directory on which i have linked my pay as you go subscription if you have multiple directories you would have to do this if you have a single directory like usually everybody does when you are doing for a lab you will not be able you will not be have to, you'll not have to do this Okay, so this opens up this logic app. And now if you would, I would have to create all this. So I'll go for my logic app creation. I'm going to create a resource. I will do test. Or I can place it in the existing resource group in which I have this <clears throat> workspace let me check test as a sentinel rg logic app rst let me do this right i'm going to create a new resource group logic app name would be this logic app region i'm going to go for east us right 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 associate with integration service environment no It is validating. 
let me hit on create it will create a logic app i knew that we are creating this logic app because we are trying to configure a playbook for my automated alert response for my azure sentinel okay i'm going to click on go to resource it will take me to the logic app logic app designer we'll select the template that we want to use if we select a template that necessities necessitates credentials we'll have to provide them alternatively you can create a new blank playbook from scratch select blank logic app right so this one we are taken to the logic app designer where we can either build new or edit the template so if we are creating a blank playbook in the search all connectors and triggered field we'll have to type in azure sentinel right so i'm going to go for this if you don't find it type in azure sentinel and you will get these options and select when a response to an azure sentinel alert is triggered this one okay and i would click on sign in to create a connection to azure sentinel okay i'll use my existing account with which i'm already logged in let's see what happens I'll do this. Okay. No additional information is needed. You click on next new step. Now it says now we can define what happens when you triggered the playbook. You can add an action, logical condition. Or whatever you want like so i'll do this add comment to incident add labels to incident get incident so let's say that i do this right and then you can add as many steps add you as you want like okay built in what do you want to do you want to send further to anything else or use custom so if you say okay so these uh, is okay so i click on save okay i have to alert subscription id okay then you can delete this one as well okay click on save this is test so you can define whatever you want right and you can run the playbook on demand as well so when you go on you you can do it run here so this will take a few moments when you go here you go on uh, uh, this one this one playbooks this is enabled and you click on here you click it is already enabled so right it's already enabled and you uncheck this and then you can do it here it is still running we'll have to wait let me pause and come back and now let's say you want to automate the threat response so this is your your siam your SOC teams can be uh, indentated with security alerts on regular basis the volume of alerts uh, generated it's so generated is so huge that available security admins are overwhelmed this results all too often in situations where many alerts can't be investigated so to many if not most of these alerts confirm to recurring patterns that can be addressed by specific and defined remediation actions and as your sentinel already enables you to define this remediation in playbooks right so it is also possible to set real time automation as part of the playbook definition to enable us to fully automate 
and uh, we can use real time automation response times can significantly uh, reduce their workload by fully automating the routine so let's say i want to set the automate the response for specific alerts so if you go to here i'm sorry on the analytics and this is your alert and i would say edit here any alert i'm just picking it randomly this is a lab and click on automated response so this is the logic app that you can integrate this is the playbook that you can integrate remember i told you that we'll do it later so this is the point wherein we did not have any playbook that i can integrate to set the automated response now i can do it so i can do this right i can do this and then i can save my changes all right so this is done so this is how we do the configuration for automated threat response in azure sentinel using the playbooks provided by azure sentinel so i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a great day